since we are uh, going to add these pixels, pixels, hold on. Since we are going to add these pixels, so we'll start with the first row, and when you finish the pixels of the first row, we'll like start like the pixel from the second row, and uh, so on and so forth. So we'll have like two loop, a loop that will uh, take care of the 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 pixels from every row, and a loop that will make us switch from one row to the other, like the like so. So we need to have two uh, loops, and uh, we'll be using a while loop. And uh, we'll be declaring two variables for our loop. We call, uh, call them like i and j. OK? So i will be like for the elements of each row. And uh, j will be like representing like the, the rows of our, uh, the different rows of our sprite. OK? So the different rows, like, like like this one. Anyhow, so let's go back to, so we need to declare them like var i equal to zero as a first value and var j also equal to zero. And uh, we'll start by writing our first loop while j is uh, inferior to to what? To sprite, to the sprite height. Okay, so the maximum value of j will be the sprite height. It won't be able to get more since we are mixing just the sprite with the main texture. So as soon as we arrive to this row, it's the end. So j is, is uh, inferior to uh, while uh, the condition need to be true while j is inferior to uh, sprite okay. uh, okay and uh, the second loop like we can write it from now why actually I'll be uh, moving this one Control X. Actually, because in just we, we need to go back to this. As soon, let's say, if you take as an example the first row, as soon as I reaches this value, which is the sprite width, we need to go back to this pixel, like in the second row. And of course, I need to go back to uh, zero, since we need to start from this point. That's why I need to place var uh, I equal to zero in this place or we can what we can do at another way just place var equal to zero in here and then here i just uh, reinitialize or reassign a zero value to i in each loop so while i uh, inferior to a sprite with Like so, oops. Okay, so this is these are our two loops, and uh, here I'll have like e plus plus, and in here I'll have like j plus plus. Okay, so we need to know now the coordinate of uh, every pixels from uh, the sprite origin, which is th this one. Let's go back to this graphic, maybe it's more clear. This one, yes. So we need to know uh, the, the coordinate of our pixel uh, from the sprite origin and from the main texture origin. Okay, because we are mixing, uh, as a reminder, we are mixing a pixel from the sprite texture with uh, the equivalent pixel that is just below it from the main texture. So, like this pixel will have like i and j from the sprite origin. And we'll have like a, a coordinate of i plus our first point 
x coordinate and j plus our first point y coordinate okay look at this graphic okay so we need to know those two coordinate okay so uh, okay so we need to uh, declare it like we need to know uh, this we need to have this variable we call it like uh, point we need we call it like point i mean i mean this pixel we call it like point its coordinate x so point x is equal uh, well place i would put it just as a zero as a first value and the same var point y equal to zero okay so just to show you again point will be like point x will be like i plus the first point the f our first point x and its y coordinate are uh, j plus the first point y coordinate okay and uh, so in here i'll just put like point y equal to uh, j as i said before j plus uh, first point y okay and the same in here like i'll be like calculating the x of our point in my uh, i loop uh, so it's equal to i plus first point x okay okay so f so from this uh, uh, we need to know uh, we need to understand that we we are going to mix like colors color pixels that are uh, that doesn't have coordinate i mean we are you are using these coordinates just to try to compute the index like like for example like to uh, to know like the color index of this point of this sprite texture like this one it will be like j multiplied by the sprite width plus i if you look at this uh, graphic this one yes we can make it maybe understand it better like if you now if you want to uh, try to understand like the color index of this point so it's like the main if we it's like the this pixel it's from from the main texture so it will be like the main texture width multiplied by this the y coordinate okay so we obtain if we just multiply the y coordinate by the main width we'll just obtain this color index and we need to add to it like this the x coordinate of this point to to have like uh, the the index of this point in this example we are talking of this pixel in the main texture okay so so to go back in here so to understand like the the color index of this point from the main texture it will be like this y coordinate multiplied by main width plus this x coordinate okay that's why we we calculated the x and y coordinate because we need to uh, to calculate also the index okay we need to know the index of each color pixel like the color pixel from the index of the color pixel from the sprite texture and the color the index of the color the same the equivalent color pixel from the main texture so so to explain it again uh, the color index of this point let's say this color pixel is in my sprite texture its color index will be like j multiplied by sprite with plus i if i am trying to know the color index of this color pixel in the sprite texture but if i am trying to uh, get the index of this color pixel that is in my main texture it will be like this y coordinate multiplied by the main width 
plus the x coordinate and it will give us the index of this pixel in the main texture okay I hope it's enough clear uh, sorry if I wasn't that clear for some of you okay so I will call it like uh, I will declare it like var main index or main call index equal our point y multiplied by main with plus main, uh, plus uh, point x okay so x uh, y, uh, y multiplied by main with plus x this is the index of this color pixel in the main texture okay and the same for the our hold on, sprite call index equal to uh, j multiplied by sprite with anyhow so this is the uh, ah, plus uh, i sorry okay okay so we calculate like the x and y position hold on the x and y position of our point in the main texture okay and uh, we calculated also the index of our pixel in the sprite uh, texture and the, the index of our of the equivalent pixel in the main texture now we are just we will be just mixing both of them using the addition method okay so we'll have like um, so uh, since we are already we have already like our result color array okay so we'll be mixing like so result color result color will have like the same index as the main color uh, both of them will have the same index so we'll have this like result color is equal to uh, main call index uh, red we, because we uh, we adding like the red uh, uh, sub elements together and the green sub elements together and the blue sub elements together of every pixels from the sprite and main texture okay so red will start with the red is equal to um, main color main call sprite and now sprite color and the, the index oh ah, yes the index of uh, it's sprite call in and I'm, uh, I'll be just doing like a copy paste of this one copy and uh, I'll, I'll be just changing this to uh, green J ah oops I forgot R R and R blue okay blue and dot the dot operator blue okay and uh, that's it yes we need to I uh, forgot something to do uh, to finish because we didn't do anything we just mixed it now what we what we did we just mixed the color arrays but 
we need to apply this to our uh, result uh, texture. So uh, I will just create a new texture, like I would call it like result texture that will be like the results of mixing both texture together. Result texture equal uh, or new texture 2D main. It will have like the same width and uh, height of the main texture. So main width main eh? Okay, and uh, then I'll just do like this, result texture dot uh, set pixels, parenthesis, and uh, result color, close parenthesis, semicolon. And then it will return uh, result texture, our texture 2D. Of course, I forgot something else to do. W w uh, when we use like set pixels, we need to apply apply it. So we need to do, to do this like result texture dot hold on, what's, what's happening? Whoa, 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 whoa. It's parenthesis here. No. Uh, uh, very bad mistake. Okay, so now it's fine. Okay, so that apply. We need to apply it. Yes, so now we can save it. Control S, save. Okay. Yes, no more mistakes. So let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, create. Uh, so we'll use this plane as a uh, to test our our texture. So we need to create like a uh, a script that will use that function. To mix two texture and the results will just appear in our on our plane. 